I'm going to name some people. Okay. And you just give me your thoughts. You okay. give me your relationship, where you are with them today, where you are with them in the past. <laughs> Damn. Okay. That's it. I like right? that. I like that. I'm going to start with this one. Why you like it's not loaded when it's loaded, right? Right. right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, tell me everything anyway. Um, like, you know what time it is. <laughs> like therapy. With, how do you really feel about right? <laughs> insert the person? <laughs> Leo Cohen. <laughs> My Leo Cohen story. I love Leo. Leo Cohen okay. story is like, remember the early days when we were doing the uh, Rap Radar podcast mm-hmm. at CBS? We had a whole... Again, this is the era, the early pot era of like yeah. you have a small room and yeah. go up to this shit. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's outside, and like we didn't have a thing to greet him. He's like, Elliot, what the fuck am I doing outside? Oh. And no one really let me in. Oh, so the you were acting? What operation what? are you doing? Blah, you blah, blah, blah. impressions. Like, yeah. <laughs> he a voice actor. He a voice actor. <laughs> but we don't know yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. We we found right yeah. Yeah. Like, this is like, a real time. Time. He a voice so actor. Leor is Leor. Leor is Leor. Leor is like fucking fearless and like he's 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 that hype. He is that what a. But I get he doesn't get like I again I love. Run DMC and like Lior is a major part of that like ascension of Run DMC. So mm-hmm. I forever have love, love for Lior and like everything he's doing for sure. Cool. Uh, Dame Dash. <laughs> yeah, laugh every time. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Have you ever been cursed out by Dame Dash? I have not. <laughs> no. uh, it's legendary. <laughs> is okay. it? It's legendary when he pulls the Rockaway ass from you. Oh man! It's legendary when he paces paces around you and curses you the fuck out and <laughs> oh tells you God. about everything about your life. For sure. This man um, has been through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he really oh, thank, you, thank you for thank coming you, to speak really with us. Um, yeah, I love I love Dame. Mm-hmm. I come from the era where you had to deal with Dame to get to Jay, right? Mm-hmm. You yeah. couldn't talk to Jay directly. Right. I didn't talk to Jay directly till American Gangster era, oh, wow. AG era. Oh wow, yeah. And now we're good friends, whatever. But like I love Dame, man. Dame is Dame is who Dame is. He always been that person. Like mm-hmm. so yeah, I've taken my lumps with him. We've had our ups and downs, but I would forever love Dame. Like, ain't nothing to be like, even to be checked by Dame is legendary. Like, Dame was like, <laughs> he brought that energy to the game that was needed. And like, his fire is what helped build and set off the whole thing. So, mm-hmm. there's nothing without that. So, you know, Biggs could always be the cool one. Yeah. Jay could be the artist in the studio. But like, I come from the era where like the business of Rockefeller and the business had to be going through Dame mm. at all times. So, love that. Me and Dame have had like a lot of incredible ups and downs, mm-hmm. but I have a lot of love for Dame. Angie Martinez. Angie's the legend. Like I said, I wouldn't do. Like it's like remember Buster said he wouldn't do the uh, versus the verse Missy. against Missy. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel about Ange. Like yeah. Ange is like her, she has a lot of legendary interviews herself. So yeah. you know, and me and Ange like we hype each other up. Like we like, we text Fine. each other or like or DM each other. Like like. You kicking ass. You kicking ass. We're still here. Like <laughs> I love we it. have each other up. Yeah, like we're fine. like, yo, and like, and what she's doing right now with the podcast. Like yeah. I wanted her to do that at yeah. title. We had a whole idea of that back then. Got it. It was Ooh. her and uh, Minya O, Miss Info, mm-hmm. and it didn't work oh. out. Mm-hmm. So it's actually the same name now, but she flipped it and made oh, it her thing know. and like made it made it work. That so. L- Lauren London interview yeah. is gonna go down as one of the yeah. best. Wow. Absolutely, so very, crazy. Very yeah, crazy. Angie's an amazing interviewer. Yeah. I have so much yeah. again, Capricorn. Facts. Yeah. I was like, Capricorn, Capricorn, man. Let's do it. You know what I mean? We're gonna bring it up. Let's not get lost. Let's get lost. Stay focused. Not talk y'all shit. No, the podcast is about how's Capricorn not the best sign? I said so. I don't understand what I said. I don't understand when people. Talk otherwise, like what are you talking about? Like, neither do I. Neither neither do such do a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> but I shout out Big Ann. I call it Big Ann. I love Ange, that. Not the little one. Come I love on. that. I got a few more names for All you. All right, let's do it. Um, let's 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 go here. We go keep it in the family radio. <laughs> Funk Flex. I like. I don't have a personal problem with Flex, but I obviously always had a lot of respect for Flex. I mean, mm-hmm. I think Flex is still New York. He's still the epitome of like. DJ culture, like he's still, he's still, he's the Jay Z of DJ. I think mm-hmm. honestly, no matter oh, what, wow. like, wow. is he like the like? No, but for real, like, it's not about the skill set of like, you know, his zigga zigas is tied to everybody else. <laughs> like, he brought the whole brand and business to gotcha. DJing, gotcha. right? Mm-hmm. And still does that. Sometimes he goes left and does some nutty shit, obviously. But naturally, at the end naturally. of the day, it's like, yo, dog, that's flex. Like, yeah. it's beyond. Yeah. Like nobody, nobody took that from him. I think obviously Clue's dope. Clue has his own lane about whatever, but it's like DJ Clue does a storm radio. But you can't take away Flex's uh, <laughs> status in the game. I think Flex is Flex, mm-hmm. Flex is elite. I got two more names, and they're a little bit more current than some of the names that I just named. Also, we one more thing with Flex. I respect also that when the tide started turning, where we all had to make our like transition to digital and be mm-hmm. modern and do sites. We did rap radar. We would be ripping Hot ninety seven and putting it up. Like I remember ripping like the, the the J um, 
uh, uh, the presidential freestyle? freestyle, that type of shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah. literally sat at Double XL, ripped that shit myself, put this up. But then Flex eventually adapted and created a Flex We Trust and was like, yo, yeah, if your motherfuckers is ripping my yeah. shit, <laughs> I'm putting my shit on my oh, site. My shit, yeah, yeah. Like, so I always will applaud that move. Like he took yeah. control of what was going on in culture. Adapted. Yeah. yeah I love absolutely. that. Um, two more names. Yep. Let's go with Vlad, DJ Vlad. <laughs> Oh, shit. I don't yeah. know Vlad like that. Um, but he's a contemporary. Y'all been y'all y'all no, careers yeah. are pretty much parallel, same same timeline in a, in a I, certain I, respect. I, look, I don't, Vlad to me is like academics in a sense of like I don't agree with all the moves they make, but I respect the business acumen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I respect the impact on culture that they've had and how they went about it. So it's the same thing I feel with Ak, and like, but I know Ak a little bit more personal to say what's up to him and say what's up. Mm -hmm. I don't know Vlad well enough. I kind of knew Vlad more in the mixtape era when he's first coming up. Mm -hmm. I don't know him as like Vlad TV, whatever kingpin or what he does. But yeah, yeah. I respect it. Like he built independent platform. I think he's ahead of his time. I think now we're like in the independent platform era now, and I think mm -hmm. Vlad was the head of that curve. So he was. It's undeniable. Last but certainly not least, the good brother Charlemagne the God. <laughs> He's mad at me. Because uh, uh, oh, I, wow. I, I tapped, him, I tapped him in the theme. academics interview. Yes. I tapped him a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But I respect Charlemagne. Look, Charlemagne, again, I think Charlemagne, his run and what he's done is, is beyond exceptional. I think that I don't like when him, I don't like when him or Joe Budden try to be humble and say, well, we can't be one of the goats because it's Sway and Angie and blah, blah, like, yo, you dog, you're like in that conversation too. Like, stop, stop that shit. Like, mm. it's like, it's like feign, like, not, not feign praise, but like feign humility. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, yo, what y'all do is what y'all do. Like, mm -hmm. he's at that stature. So we don't agree on things all the time. We're not like super friends. We're super cool. The respect is there, but. There's no denying his impact on culture again, like like I said earlier. So, I got respect for Charlemagne. For sure, Obviously. for sure. I love that. Appreciate you. Very, can <laughs> very candid. Appreciate nah, you. Very very you candid in your responses. Nah, you gave it up. Uh, yeah. I like that. But I, I, I but if that. I say I something like else, that. you must have clout chasing <laughs> trying to disrespect him. You are not a clout chaser. You are a journalist keeping That's up with the I times. Feel. You gotta understand. It's different for for Charlemagne. He's daily radio. So yeah. it's a job to continuously go in every morning and put out content. But again, I came yeah. in with Ye. Like Ye again. Yeah, Ye, yeah. Ye, shout out to Ye again. Like Ye was the one who really embraced me in my tough time and yeah. the laugh and magnify and that. So my my connection to Breakfast Club was Drew Her. It wasn't yeah. Drew Envy yeah. or him. So gotcha. yeah. but again, that's unprecedented. I feel like it was parallel to me of the whole rap radar website taking off and Breakfast Club at the same time. It's like it was the right ideas at the right time. So yeah. Yeah. There's forever a kinship with that, I feel like, at For that sure. time. That 09 to 2010s yeah. ascension, you know? Yeah.